Hey yo everyone, welcome to Terraria 1.4. We are here and I just want to start this video off by giving my thanks to the team at ReLogic for working hard and getting this update out to us, especially during these troubling times. And I want to give a specific thanks to Senex for allowing me to contact her and get my hands on this, to have an opportunity to show this to you guys. And we're going to be playing in master mode, so I don't know what's going to go down. Probably not too much progression wise. We got some bumping music. This music is amazing. And then we see tech texture packs here so we do have a straight up texture pack area you know you were able to do texture packs in the other versions but there was a different way of installing them but yeah let's go ahead let's hop in here so let us make our character here we're gonna be playing on classic of course classic we're not playing on journey who the heck plays on medium core be honest and i don't think i'm ready enough for hardcore we will have the master mode hardcore coming up i don't know if i'll beat that i'll leave that to badger to beat it but yeah we're just gonna go with classic uh we're gonna play as a male character and as we get to see here we get to preview a bunch of outfits even we get to preview the female outfits which is very cool and uh you can just randomize the player paste the template from clipboard copy player template to clipboard which is very very cool i like that and uh you know i usually like to rock the uh trench coat let's rock the trench coat let's go to the hairstyles now i'm wondering because you get more hairstyles from the stylist when you beat was it plantera somewhere around there you get more hairstyles i'm wondering if that will ever show up on this screen maybe it is here and i'm not paying attention actually i don't no, I'm not seeing those uh, funny hairstyles you can get from the stylus, but I do see more hairstyles in general. Uh, we got this beautiful, nice bun. Uh, as you can see, the hair kind of bouncing too. That's amazing. Uh, we got the butler look right here. I think we got to rock this look. This look right here. This is a fire look. Uh, maybe change the hair color. Let's see here. I'm feeling. I'm feeling more. Of just let's get a nice generic color. White. Nope. That's not what I was looking for. Let's get. Let's get a brown. There we go. We got a nice little brown there. Maybe a little bit lighter there. There we go. Next up, we got the eyes here. You know, I usually like to give my character red eyes just so you can see them a lot better, but it, it does look fairly demonic. So maybe we should give them like blue eyes for once. Nice. Look at that. Next up was the skin color. Skin color honestly looks fine. Maybe a little bit, a little bit lighter here. All right. We're here on shirt color, not the undershirt, the trench coat color. Pretty much. Let's get a, let's get a nice green, too green, too green. Let's, let's make it a little darker, darker and lighter. Boom. Shirt underneath. Let's get a, let's get a black shirt a nice black shirt there we go pants the pants are honestly fine he's rocking those khakis and then shoes I, I don't know let's give him let's give him some white kicks yes sir my boy's looking fly all right let's go ahead and create him his name will be master mark no, that's a dumbass his name will be master moof keeping up with the great names that i always name my characters master moof and uh let's let's figure out some names here so they did default a name for us uh, it says give your world a name choose carefully you cannot change it later colorful delta of the groom what an interesting randomized name i will name this you will not succeed so give up oh doesn't fit master world nice and simple the seed just leave it blank for random so we got small Small, medium large let's go with the medium world i really like how you see the picture over here this little picture how it changes very very nice detail and then we got the obviously the modes here journey which also changed the picture it's really adorable how everything changes the picture classic expert master we have to go with master of course and now we get to choose this which is also very cool how it changes the left side this is such a nice detail we will go with crimson because i heard the brain of cthulhu's uh expert drop has been buffed so let's keep that in mind i'm assuming that expert drops are in master mode but let's do it i'm ready to get destroyed this is just going to be a death montage so here we go we got some tips right here the old man at the dungeons of clothier if only someone could lift his curse dot 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 so i'm assuming what every time you load into the world or generate oh more tips yep there you go water will break your fall has it always done that in the past i don't know i don't find myself jumping into water too often we have our world right here and it says master in red letters as scary as it could be so yeah every time you do load it does tell you some things so right off the bat here look how alive the world is our character blinks too which is insane and the grass moves when we walk on it also insane what's up guide my boy dylan how happy are you i'm quite used to not having a home but i wouldn't mind one having a lot of space is functional i greatly appreciate it i'm quite fond of wandering through the forest i like it here so my boy likes the forest that is known i'll keep that in my mind for the future let me go ahead and favorite everything but look at this we got a pointy copper short sword and if you don't know copper short swords you can swing or just short swords in general you can swing anywhere like this yeah there's a lot of new things here we got the 
emote window. Oh my god. Hey guide. Hey guide. Come back. Look, I'm talking smack about the guide. Is that a what is that? Is that a blimp? Who's flying that blimp? All right, let's cut down some trees. Whoa, look at that. The wood is like dropping as I cut down the tree slowly. See a little little piece fly off. Look at that, an acorn this time. But just off, just starting the world. The world feels so much alive. Everything is moving and swaying, and it just gives so much life to the game. Is that an apple? We got an apple. Consumable minor improvement to all stats. An apple a day keeps Dr. Bones away. You know what else keeps Dr. Bones away? RNG. All right, we got our first enemy here on master mode. I am afraid to get hit. I really don't want to get hit, but oh, that was close a couple times there. First enemy slain in master mode. Bro, this is too easy. Too easy. They need to make a better master mode now. They need to make ultra mode. Whoa, was that coins I just got from breaking this tree? All right, let's go ahead. Let's get a workbench down. Oh, benched. So we got achievements up here. Some of these achievements might have been reset or some new achievements because I heard that they didn't add any new achievements until the first update they're gonna do the first uh, update post release of 1.4 yo we got a ruthless wooden sword what that's some good rng right there let's zoom in here you know i like playing zoomed in zoomed in helps me a lot out that did 24 it's actually not that bad and also if you realize or look at our top right here our hearts and our manner are different now our mini map border is also different you can change the border of the mini map uh, i just gotta figure out how but I'm, I'm not too worried about it right now let's just cut down some trees you know let's make some progress oh a bunch of birds came out of that tree oh here we go we got a new tree variant over here now i'm wondering if this drops mahogany because it looks like mahogany wood so let's see if it drops mahogany what you got no it's just regular wood just a different variant of tree uh uh, but let's see here is there anything i can craft out of the ordinary no everything looks normal here let's go ahead let's get the wooden armor on you know that that little defense helps out a lot i don't know why i made wooden greaves they don't do these give you defense no they don't but yeah when i start a terraria playthrough i usually like to explore as much as the surface as possible before i go into a cave but i saw a chest so that means i have to come down into the cave now there is a couple things that we are gonna stay away from until the uh release is fully out to everyone or at least uh, we're on release day uh but i don't know if you guys are gonna watch that chippy and penguin stream and even the uh booth and badger stream where they're gonna check out the game early too uh they may progress a lot we'll see what happens i personally am not gonna tune into too much of it because i want to obviously experience the game firsthand uh but i may stop by for a little bit maybe not watch it but i'll stop by to chat we got a lot of iron here whoa what's up with this vein this is a weird vein right here you see this i'll mine a bit of it because like i said i'm trying to explore the surface but this is very very interesting hold up let me break the torch is there anything underneath no it's just a weird vein of iron i want to know who's flying all those blimps back there bro i'm trying to get a ride you got me walking maybe there's a blimp mount i don't know we'll see okay we got some new sunflowers oh i think we're coming up on the desert which is uh an area i'm not gonna dive into too much uh for certain reasons the desert has is one of the places that have received some of the most love in this update so uh you know it's a very very nice place to be lots of good loot i'm taking a lot of damage here let's go back to the right you know what i'm hoping that we don't run into is uh corruption or crimson what did i choose i chose crimson right now i don't know if we're gonna play on this world the whole entire time by the time release comes out probably not this is more of a uh, test world to see what's going on i did pick up a boomerang at some point in time wasn't paying attention at all there they go again somebody riding a blimp bro uber uber blimp let me get a pickup so a lot of the game has been rebalanced and a lot of weapons have been changed for example uh short swords you know how you can swing them in multiple directions now or stab them in multiple directions uh stuff like that has been changed boomerang i'm pretty sure is the same uh flails those have been changed and uh i actually have i have a razor keyboard and every time i enter a new biome the uh keyboard changes colors which is really cool so my keyboard just went from green to uh icy blue all right nighttime is slowly coming and honestly i haven't died once i might have just jinxed it right there but we haven't died once we've been chilling there's a bird it's all good unless that bird assaults me all right it's time to go down a cave we got to go down the cave whether the cave sucks or not it's time to go down one because nighttime is coming and i'd rather be in a cave right now than outside of a cave we got a chest right here oh what is that is that a table i could sit on it's a stepping stool <laughs> I was just joking it, it really was something i could sit on we got a spear nice i'll always take a spear early game honestly it might be better than the sword right now but stepping stool hold up to reach higher boom what does it look like do we have a look on our character probably not oh <laughs> This is amazing. This is my favorite item so far. That's honestly, that's a really useful thing to have early game. I like that addition. And I'm not just saying that because somebody has a gun pointing towards my head. Can of worms. Okay, so we know what that does. Uh, obviously, it adds worms to your inventory. I am really surprised that I haven't ran into like a new enemy or anything trying to kill me. But uh, maybe we're just getting lucky. 
Maybe we're just getting lucky and we're not finding anything too aggressive. I will open up this can of worms because I'm assuming people are interested. Boom, there's worms. Only one type of worm. Uh, I like that addition. We are noticing a lot of things are re-sprited. Hold up. Does this... Oh, this has warding? Let's go. That's some good early game defense. I'm just waiting for it. I know any moment we're just going to get like violently assaulted by something. Something that I've never seen before. And I'm trying to mentally prepare for it. Oh, here we go. We got our first golden chest. I've been waiting for this. We got a new painting. I think this is a new painting. It's a dude looking at a sky island. Nice. I did recently look at the spoiler compendium and I never I never remember seeing the uh, one where they showed off a bunch of new paintings and that that spoiler is dope. What? This thing moves? Watch this. Whoopee cushion. Come on. Give me the whoopee cushion. Let me get a whoopee cushion, bro. Okay. The worm ran away from me. It's kind of upsetting. What's in the chest though? Hermes boots. Perfect. Lucky Hermes boots too. Nice. I'm getting some good RNG here. We have straight up six defense alone from accessories. Hold up. Watch this. What's down here? I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. Traps. I'm looking. I've become a Terraria pro. All right. I compete for the esports Terraria team. Uh, the team solo mid esports Terraria team. It doesn't actually exist. So don't look it up. We have a dirt bomb, a small explosion that will spread dirt. That's pretty cool. I got to test it out. We've seen this in a mod before and it looks really cool. And look at that. It does exactly what you thought it would do. Let's be careful here. Got to be cautious. Always on your toes during master mode. Always on your toes. But in this case, you know, ah! I shouldn't even talk. I really shouldn't even talk. It always happens. Well, I just noticed there was a countdown during that respawn timer, which I've been using a mod, you know, non 1.4 to have a countdown when I respawn. But yeah, we're here on the surface. Wow, the moon looks dope. That thing's straight up pink. What is that? Is that an owl? Okay, it's not gonna attack me. We're fine. I thought I was about to be assaulted. But yeah, if you notice, that trap straight up did 99 damage. And then the one poison tick killed me. That's that's pretty insane. Hold up, let me see if I can find a star. Let me just use this stool. I haven't been using this stool enough. My bad. You know, I just forget sometimes. We got some bump. Hold up. Amethyst gem corn? Sapphire gem corn? Okay. So I do remember when the spoilers that there were gem trees. So that is how you get them. It's very cool that you can uh, make some gem trees. Makes a nice way to, I, I assume, a nice way to farm gems this would be a good grenade area right here if i can get some platform set up and then launch a grenade down here let's let's get a good angle ah run it's every man for himself all right that was worst case scenario at least i didn't take that much damage i only hit myself with the grenade i think that's all i did see a boulder i'm not falling for these boulder traps i see another trap right here this is straight up a boulder trap i kind of want to activate it that's not it was a trap. It just wasn't activating. I see a life crystal to the right. Just got to point that out before somebody goes insane mentioning it in the comments. But yeah, so far only one death. I'm honestly surprised. And it was a really stupid death. It wasn't one like I was fighting an enemy. It was just one where I just <laughs> fell into a trap. This guy, let, let's, oh God. I was about to say, let's be careful with him as I run towards him. Okay, we got it. Oh my God, he won time. <laughs> Bro, make it two deaths. Two deaths, count them. One, two. All right, we're at spawn. Let's drop some stuff off here. All right, quick chat with a guide. Guide, I got some I got some gems here. Can you tell me what I could use these gems for? Please. Let's see. We got a whole load of nothing for me to use. Amethyst stone block. Okay, you can put amethyst on a stone block the robe looks different hey can we get these dudes get out of here oh we got some music here hey hey this is bumping I, what i was about to say though is i've noticed <clears throat> geez, i've noticed the slimes aren't too bad on master mode but those those cave enemies they get a little dangerous oh hold up we got a living wood tree over here oh god oh god <laughs> the slimes they heard me they're coming in on balloons do a little do a little juking here oh look at him wow this whoa is this multiple living wood trees is this just good rng or is this a thing that can happen now i'm assuming both good rng and a thing that can happen but look at this we just straight up have a couple of rooms of chests here oh my god of course i'll get another spear not even with a reforge come on but what's in here the typical oh we open doors like that i didn't even notice the typical living wood loot let's see sunflower minecart mystic finch staff i'll be taking that thank you very much angel statue you can stay here to represent the blessing you gave me bro we gotta see the summon right here so this is probably something a lot of people want to see is new summon stuff and uh you know the summoner i'd still consider the weaker class in the previous versions of terraria uh, aka 1.3 but you know slowly these updates came out the summoner became a lot better and this update should be the thing that tops off the summoner let's see finch activate boom it's on my head hello i wonder if you could summon multiple probably not because i don't know there's a, not a lot of room on my head we got another chest here damage wooden boomerang sweet do you see something i don't oh the finch has spotted an enemy ow what the heck handle that finch handle that you're not getting fed until you handle this 
There we go. Good job, Finch. I got some worms right here if you want to get fed. We got another chest. This is a very interesting chest spot right here. Kind of just in the opening. Ooh, Wand of Sparking. Didn't they buff this? Oh my god. 15 magic damage? Yo, my boy Gungnir, he could have used that when he did that. Uh, can you beat Terraria with only a Wand of Sparking? Wand of Sparking, activate. Ooh, I missed. Wand of Sparking, activate. All right, I'm not the greatest at it. What the heck? Red kite? Kites can be flown on windy days. Wow. <laughs> Red kite. Come on, let's go. Come with me. So you can reel it in with a right click. I do like little gimmicky things like that. That's honestly some of my favorite editions in games. All right, well, I'm going to fly my kite. Come on, get up. Get up. There you go. Yeah, I'll help you up. I sit on my stool and help you out. The kite is now with us. Uh, can you beat Terraria? Only holding a kite. Find out next time. Ooh, there's a log on the floor. This is the first log I've seen. Go ahead, let's break this log. Just give us wood. Give me wood. Oh, it didn't give me anything. Oh, here we go. Coming up on the dungeon. My boy, what's up? You got anything to say? My master cannot be summoned under the light of day. That's a weird thing to say to someone you just met for the first time. Personally, I would have been like, hello or hi, but you know, whatever. Do you think I could like snag a, a water bolt and then leave? Or is that that's too dangerous? It might be too dangerous. I feel like I'm too low already. I'm not going down any lower. I don't want one of my deaths to come from the man, the myth himself, the dungeon guardian. As funny as it would be, I don't want to. Got another chest here. What's in it? <laughs> another spear. Okay oh godly though come on let's go no if you do get doubles of anything at least it has a better reforge right thanks i guess for saving me or whatever you'd be whoa what the heck you'd be a great helper minion i'm not helping you just because you said that you know what we can do since we don't have iron armor we can make palm tree armor who's made palm tree armor in their playthroughs like come on this is a first is that a seagull what's that seagull doing i hope you don't attack me let's be friends about this all right let's be friends i'm just chilling right here don't attack me you probably shouldn't come near me when i'm swinging an axe all right palm armor whoa i can make an enchanted boomerang with a fallen star and a wooden boomerang let's do it superior let's go we got a good reforge too our rng honestly isn't too bad music is bumping though they decided to bring the console music console ocean very whatever you want to say and it's bumping all right what's your quest what's your quest I, I gotta ask you just to figure out caught in desert scarab fish i'm not going to the desert cool nonetheless oh shit crabs what's crab are doing here you got the update early too all right i do want to go in this ocean though and i do want to get my hands on some goodies if possible and i'm ready to go oh do i have glow sticks i don't have glow sticks oh, i have shine okay we're good ready boom no sharks as badger would say when he's visiting the ocean no sharks please no sharks please something like that please don't spawn any sharks or any other scary aquatic creature what is this the ocean goes deeper dude where the chest at this is bad i'm going deeper we're gonna start drowning what is this why does it go deeper we're drowning where's the chest i came down here for chest not for death oh my god hey at least we're back right next to my favorite npc in the whole entire game the guide hey what can you craft with stars mr guide you about the same stuff there's some starry blocks though sounds cool you know i think we should take a second and look at our bestiary uh, there is a lot of enemies does that zombie have a torch does he drop torches drop me a torch sir oh he does damn he drops a lot of torches okay what can you craft with stone let's see here okay i see a bunch of new things in here is that a boulder statue but it's upside down what the hell mr guide can i fly my kite in here is it working my character looks weird <laughs> Another thing we could take a look at here is our bestiary. Boom. These are all the creatures we've seen so far. Owl. Do owls drop anything? I don't know. So the more you kill things, I think the more you add to the bestiary on that thing. So uh, let, let's see here. What zombie have I killed a lot? This one right here. Boom. Is that all I can see? Is there a way to like make it bigger? I don't know. But we have no information. Do we have information about anything? Like we, we, we got the spawns. That's about it. Maybe you have to kill something. 50 times you know get the banner and then you'll get even more information on it oh here we go the blue slime we, we almost got some stuff on it dang this tells you how much gold they drop too that's pretty good this bestiary this is one of the things i'm hyped about the most you know what i'm gonna have fun with what i with my iron and i'm gonna make a minecart trail look at this they made that a lot quieter well, i can't even hear it <laughs> that squirrel fell out of the tree oh my god you hate to see it i didn't mean to kill it look at this we're in our sunflower minecart does this thing only have two wheels or is it a perspective thing this looks like this only has two wheels oh no game readers don't step in the boulder trap I'm just kidding. I, I blocked it off. We got a chest here. I've never seen a golden chest. Is this a mimic? I've never seen a golden chest just chilling by itself like this. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna place a couple blocks. You never know. It's not a mimic. Who would have thought? We gotta kill the undead miner. He's gotta die. Get him, quick, before something else attacks us. That bat is coming, quick. 
we're good <gasps> he dropped his pants and his helmet but mainly his pants bro i've never used a mining armor before i mean we didn't get the whole set but still you know how rare that is this is a material what is it a material for? oh <gasps> there's another one when's if i get the if i get the chest plate too sir i'm gonna i'm gonna have to ask you to come over here i need your shirt cough up the shirt get out of here drop your chest plate what the heck he gave me the bone pickaxe i'll take it that's honestly better than the chest plate do you think this drops anything no, no, the bone pickaxe doesn't play. I, I've never gotten my hands on this enough to see how good it is. Hold up, Finch, handle him. I see this trap. You can't get me with the traps. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, you can open the menu while you're dead now. But yeah, we're going to end the video here. Again, I want to give a thanks to the team at Relogic and Senex for allowing me to get my hands and make a video for you guys early. And I'm hyped for this update, obviously. We're going to have a playthrough. We're going to have a bunch of videos on this update, of course. And that's really all I got to say. Can we not attack me while I'm doing the outro? Yeah, I'll see you guys on the streams when the game is released to everyone. Honestly, I might be able to stream it a little bit early. We'll see about that. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm probably going to say something in a different clip after this about youtube memberships hey yo everyone so i just wanted to announce that i am finally opening up channel memberships on this channel memberships are only 4.99 a month and will give you access to my video idea brainstorming chat where you guys will be able to directly suggest to me future video ideas and other things like directly contact me and talk to me you also gain access to badges next to your name when you comment and chat and special emojis you can use when you are in the terraria 1.4 live stream that is coming up soon because i will be streaming on youtube and not twitch for that but yeah that's all i wanted to announce thank you for watching the video i, I love you guys